I want to make a quick video uh, and just show you that my iguana is digging in her nest box. She's made, she dug a lot more over there. She's made two more holes right here. Um, these are just test sites. Obviously the ground's too cold for her to be laying in there. So uh, she picked the one with a heat pad. I moved that light from where Liz, uh, Sidon is sleeping just so it can make it a lot much warmer just in case she stays there at night because it is pretty cold down there um, when the morning comes. So I'll, I'll go into depth. I just want to let you know, Lizzie's doing a lot better. She's been digging a lot, so I'm expecting some eggs. Uh, hopefully not another 45. I mean, maybe, but she looks a lot smaller this year, so maybe it's a lot less. But we'll see what happens. She's digging and digging. Hopefully it's not too crammed in there for her. That's her leg. There it is. Yeah, I don't know what's uh Go into depth on how iguanas build their chambers, dig nests, what they do in the wild and in captivity. Um, like I said, I don't want to make this video too long, but I'll shoot it sometime during the day. That's her tail. She's facing. Oh, she's facing away from us, pushing the dirt out. Yeah, let's see what happens, guys. It's pretty nice. Oh, it's pretty cold. Yeah, anyways, peace. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm digging here. I saw my iguana. I checked up on her after I got off of work. She's super skinny. And uh, I found some eggs. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some of this warm dirt. We're going to put it back over here onto the eggs. And... Uh, second we're just gonna put it over here in the heat while I get my containers and uh, I'll be right back so yeah so I got my vermiculite and I got my perlite or I believe it's perlite what I'm gonna do just to get them out of there oh shoot that's oh. right there I'm gonna fill up these containers and then sort it out so basically, I just mix it in a little water so it clumps up pretty nicely. All right, guys. So I came back. I have my vermiculite. And then I have my perlite mix. Basically, all I did was make it to where it clumps up nicely, but it doesn't uh, leak out any water if I squeeze it. Um, I'm trying both methods. I mix a little vermiculite with these. Um, it's a little on the drier side I haven't really had success having it like that one-to-one -one ratio so I'm just gonna kind of fill it out this one is too much so I probably won't even use this one or add more to it um, check this out so I noticed she was in here she was pushing the dirt towards this side so I was digging over here so there might be some there but what I'm gonna do I gotta watch out for mama too it's a rock pile. So they're right here. So I gotta be really careful. Pull back this dirt. So this is easily done. You know, you could do this. I've always had success with her lane. This is her third time lane in this type of box. So we got the first one here. And we're gonna see. Oh yeah, these are nice nice plump eggs we're gonna try to get rid of as much as <laughs> much as dirt as possible but since it was positioned like this I'm gonna try to keep it positioned the same way and I'll put it in this one so just in case you know it hasn't been more than a 
couple hours since these are laid, so or not a whole day at least. So I'm gonna dig out all these. I'll show you that one. And then I'll count up how many she had. I might need some more containers because she lays a lot. But uh, I'll come back to you guys because I don't need my two hands for this. We got three, we got four. Five, yeah. Six, all right. See you guys later. All right guys, so this is what I got. Sorry, it's a little red, I know. So I have four, well actually this one's pretty decent. I have three potentially bad eggs. They're a little bit deflated. Not too bad, maybe a little dehydrated. I got six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That look to be pretty good eggs. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, five. Twenty-five slugs with and you can tell the difference. Look at the look at all the dark. I blew the air off of them. <laughs> and then I did the same to those. It's still the same color. So I'm not gonna even uh try to incubate those. Good thing because these this one got regular dirt in it. And uh so this is what I'm working with. I got 12, 30, 40, 50, 16 eggs potentially that are good. And I don't even see that big ass hole over there that she dug. But I know that's pretty much it. So that's why she was pretty much pretty small because most of the eggs were bad. Hopefully these are good. But let me go bring them inside. Guys, right, so there it is. 25 eggs that are slugs. And uh, I'm not sure, I'm sure most of these were yeah, they look like they were like that to begin with. Um, nothing really much I could do about them. Some of them are popped, I guess, when she pushed them or when I was... I don't think I popped any digging them. Um, probably when she was, like, packing them in, she might have popped them. But these are no good. And if I put them in the incubator, they wouldn't inflate. They'll just create mold and spread the mold throughout the incubator um most of the time like her, her last time she laid eggs they weren't fertile and they're a little bit more plump than this they're like like that but if you press them they kind of dented in like that like so and uh, they got a little bit hydrated but they were still very malleable i guess and uh they ended up just getting mold and shrinking up and so hopefully this year, these eggs definitely do look a lot more plump and I have them in the Exoterra incubator. Um, right now the humidity is at 80. Yeah. Sorry about that, so my incubator right now is at 80. Um, I've barely put the lids on them. I notice when I do put the lids, it, they tend to dry out a lot faster. Um, so I'm gonna let the whole incubator, it's not really a big incubator, so it'll keep the humidity pretty well. And if they need to be at 80, then I'll leave them at 80. If you guys have any suggestions whether I should put on the lids, lids have little holes in them. Um, and so does the side of this for airflow, you know, so they don't, you know, create mold within it. Um, you have any suggestions of if I should leave them like that, like just kind of wait on there, or should I actually seal them up? Um, I don't I would really like any suggestions, any and all suggestions. Um, the temp, it's uh, reading 84 right now, and I have it at 86, so it should be hitting up there right now in a little bit. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes. I uh, wish me luck on these 16 eggs. Um, those four, I'm not too sure. Those are kind of like the the way she would lay the eggs. I don't know if you saw it, in a, you know, a couple minutes ago. Um, the way those were, that's how she normally lays them. It's pretty rare that she actually lays them that firm and hardened, you know. So they're not hard, but they're like, they have a good shell to them leathery shell so we'll see what happens 
put some water in the water tray helps build up the humidity and uh, the the perlite and vermiculite i have it to where i could squeeze it let it go and it would be clumped up no drippage of water um i usually do one if it's like one gram of vermiculite or perlite i do one gram of water so I do that proportionally like if it's five grams of vermiculite five grams of water so on and so forth um that is the the everyone's you know go-to answer for incubating reptile eggs um but this time i kind of filled it out so i'll give you more information on the actual nest box if that what you guys like i mean it's pretty easy they're all over the internet you can find all the net types of nest box um whatever your iguana prefers but um yeah that's pretty much it guys what's up guys i want to show you this uh quick little thing i was checking on the eggs and uh as you can see this one has a lot of fungus on it um and usually the ones with fungus i know they're not really fertile um this one was touching another egg so i cleaned the fungus off the other egg and i'm hoping that will save it maybe uh, if it is fertile because that one is very plump and uh this is uh unfortunate but i don't know if you guys uh can give me some recommendations this it feels pretty wet and like pretty moist maybe a little too moist um maybe the moisture is a problem or you know how do i save the other eggs do i add some uh vermiculite or what do i do because this is usually how i lose all my eggs i don't know am i keeping them too moist is that what it is or do i need to get them a drier thing the humidity gauge in there i mean obviously it's different for in the box but in here it's right now it's 70 because i had the door open a little bit um i see the moisture on there there's no moisture on these these look really great I haven't seen any problems with those that one has what i pulled one out and then uh I cleaned one of the other ones over there, so I'm an egg down now. But I just want to show you what the fungus egg looks like. And uh, I feel the egg and like the fungus, it's like super moist. So I'm guessing it's just like thriving there. Um, how do I know if they're fertile besides them being so plump and robust? But if you have any questions i mean uh <clears throat> any answers or tips you can give me i'm using this exoterra humidity i have it at 88 just to keep it you know have water in there just keeping the humidity going and the fans at the bottom so just blowing all that moisture to that window um but yeah The temperature it looks like it's like around 90. Uh, maybe I got it lowered a little bit. Yeah. I usually have like around 86 the last time, but I decided to go higher this time around just in case that was an issue. Um, unless that's like the sweet spot area, but I'm not too sure. So you guys let me know. Um, I'll take a two minute temp. I mean, humidity gauge in the, those bins, see how humid it is. Yeah, unfortunate, but it happens.